Hey guys, today I'm gonna to be doing my assignment 1C after my internship. Um, I'll start off with question one, which is now that my internship is completed, how do I praise my original expectations? Um, I firstly wanna go into to not be nervous, um, to fail in any aspects of your internship. It will definitely help you grow. There was been a couple of times where I've mistaken information or had incorrect um, processes and it's actually built me into a better person um, because of that because I've learned from my mistakes and pushed forward with it and not lingered on it. Um, second off, uh, it's definitely what it's made out to be for GM. Um, I was expecting to be, you know, push very hard, uh, learn a whole new bunch of roles and um, experiences and it's, it's uh, been a great experience so far and it's definitely pushed me to be um, a great employee and a great colleague to uh, my friends at GM. Also too, to push yourself in the situations where you think it will be hard is, is definitely a great opportunity within the business as um, it will help you grow not only in the business but also too in your knowledge of the area that you're searching for. Um, question number two, what is a brief uh, explanation of the work-based project and tasks that I've been delivering? Um, I've talked before about VDRF, which uh, was a process where I needed to talk with vendors as a business and communicate in between back and forward with them to create a DUNS account, which is a whole um, entity of systems where we have a personalized number for each business to keep in contact and do business with, with transactions um, for parts uh, and a whole bunch of other aspects. Another one that recently I've done, which I'll go into further detail, uh, was barter. Um, barter accounts that I needed to search for between 2015 to 2023. Um, I needed to go through all transactions between GM and a whole bunch of other businesses to check if we are barter and not within transactions that will help uh, the tax team basically find out that we're not doing tax fraud. And it was a very hard system. I needed to go through many, many transactions all through 2015 and 2023, uh, where I was just basically looking at invoices and legal obligations from GM to the other business that implicated that we are not paying and we're only um, dealing with assets. As barter is me giving you an asset and you giving me either uh, basically a service back within the same value. So uh, as an example, I give you $10,000 worth of vehicles and you give me $10,000 worth of, let's just say marketing or promotion. And there is no transaction between currencies and there's no tax involved at all. It's simply uh, an agreement between two companies. Question three. Assessing my personal development, which aspect of this experience am I most proud of and why? I am definitely most proud of taking up new tasks and roles within the business. Um, from my previous intern uh, who was teaching me now, um, she did a lot of roles um, that I was very nervous about doing, but as soon as I've taken up all of them and learned them properly and gone through all the systems and processes for them and been very knowledgeable with it and retaining all that information, um, I ended up expanding my knowledge by asking my fellow colleagues in different departments, um, such as uh, FX exchange, such as forecasting, that I've taken up numerous roles now where I'm actually um, uh, putting in different uh, numbers and different forecasts for the full team to actually use, which is great on my behalf because I'm very proud that uh, I can expand my role and not just simply stay to basically the road that I've been giving. Question four, classify the skills and experience gained from this internship. Skills gained from real world transactions, I've definitely learned business operations and technical uh, internal systems. Um, I've realized that finance uh, is not based on everything you learn in books. Um, you gotta really learn the systems that the business uh, gives you and be very well ded dedicated to learning those systems, processes and procedures where you know 
how to implement them throughout your works, which is um, great. I've, I've gained a numerous amounts of transaction experience where I've learned how to read invoices and uh, agree and approve on um, legal documents, agreements, uh, learned how to communicate very well with different businesses in organizing uh, accounts for them or simply organizing legal obligations for them to proceed forth with. Um, my experience for, from this internship is how to be a good business uh, role model for, well, new interns, especially. Number five, discuss the key challenges and issues I've faced. I've definitely faced some mistakes uh, during my work. I've definitely mucked up some numbers on Excel or did the wrong formulas. Uh, I've definitely had wrong implications of my agreements where I've uh, messed up some spelling, um, very minor things. I think the biggest one is probably communication. Uh, communicating with businesses, especially outside of Australia is very hard sometimes, um, as my understanding, understanding and their understanding may be very different in the aspects where um, uh, I'm wanting to give them information that they may or may not understand clearly in um, my language, basically. Uh, it's definitely charging some incorrect functions as well has been a problem uh, where I've needed to ask for help from my boss and from my um, trainer. Uh, number six, how do I rate my overall experience and performance in this internship? Great, as I've previously uh, said, um, my performance is definitely, I think, exceeded my previous trainer as they were an intern and did the same roles and from them I think they've they've been or performed way better than their intern beforehand as I think they each intern sets a baseline for um, the next intern as an individual and as a person and um, I think we build on that each time I think Gen, uh, General Motors has that methodology of um, building upon your character and upon your uh, business role as we take up new objectives, new tasks, and that become a, a normal everyday day-to-day -day work thing for us. Um, I definitely think I've performed very well. Uh, number seven, what advice would you give your future business interns like me? Um, definitely be passionate about your role. It drives you not only to be a better worker, but a better person, um, and you get invested in the tasks and roles much more uh, methodically and organized to the point where you feel that you're you're committed to something and you're part of something bigger so definitely be passionate about a role and if you're not um find passion within the role such as you know uh, mine is definitely finance but um i work in finance but cars for me is a very big passion and since i work at general motors it makes it a bit more easier to understand i understand the process and work based systems due to that number eight how do i build on this experience towards a career of my choice um i definitely have communicated with my colleagues my interests and uh due to them having more experience will definitely build on my experience uh towards a career um they've taught me the ways that they went about it to get to their career now um, and it will definitely help me achieve that. Um, I'm also too doing certificates within um, General Motors. They have their own program where they train different aspects of finance, accounting, uh, financial planning. And I've um, basically organized a lot of them where I'm, I'm enrolled in most of them. I've enrolled in already 30 um, by now and completed about 30 certificates. So it's definitely pushed my um, experience towards a career of my choice. Uh, thanks for everything and um, I'm definitely grateful for this opportunity.